Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, it's Arm Malieri here on behalf of LockerGnome.com, and I'm back with another review in the iOS Jailbreak series, where we cover some of the coolest uh, mods that you can add on to your iPhone if it's jailbroken. So today we're covering Voice Activator. And as you all know, your iPhone comes with a standard uh, voice activated menu where you hold down the home button and it gives you the standard thing where you can do voice commands. What time is it? The time is 8.28 p.m. Cool. So, I mean, you can do the standard things where you can call people using their name or um, do things like ask what time it is. But now you can do a whole bunch of custom voice activated commands using a really cool add-on called Voice Activator. You can see it down here in my settings menu with all the other jail, jailbreak uh, uh, mods that I have. But if you go into Voice Activator, you can see that you can add different commands and have it do different things uh, based on what you say. So for example, in mine, I have Foursquare, Google Maps, Locker Gnome, and the live stream already programmed in. And just to give you a sneak peek, um, I can have my voice commands launch applications or I can have them go to URLs or, or I can have it actually speak a word out loud, uh, which is eh, kind of useless. I don't know what you would have it uh, speak to you for, but uh, launching applications and going to specific URLs without having to do anything is pretty awesome. So let me demo a couple of them for you. So we'll start with an actual application launch uh, and we'll do Foursquare and then we'll do a couple of uh, URL launches and then I'll show you guys how to uh, configure these yourself with uh, Voice Activator. So from right here, I'm gonna hold the home button and go into Foursquare with just a simple uh, command for Foursquare. Foursquare. So there we have it guys. Uh, simply hold down the voice command and just say Foursquare and boom, my iPhone launches the app and I'm good to go. I could, you know, have it in my pocket, not have to fumble through anything and just go ahead and get straight to it. So uh, I'll give you another example. So this time we'll have it launch a URL. Locker Gnome. And there it goes. It's launched the web browser and I already have it predefined to go to LockerGnome.com and it is launching us straight to Locker Gnome. No typing, no nada. So you can see how you can increase your efficiency with this, um, you know, make things a little bit more convenient for yourself, not have to uh, do a bunch of typing, yada, yada, yada. Who knows? You might have a web app for your local bus route, whatever it is that you need to get to real quick, and um, you can just program it once and activate it just like that. Live stream. And there we have it, guys. We've got the live stream up and playing in less than, what was that, 10 seconds. Uh, you can't do that uh, with uh, your fingers in your web browser that fast. So everybody say hi to Chris. There he is. He probably has no idea that I'm recording this right now. Uh, but anyway, that's how quick it was to activate um, Voice Activator to um, launch those commands for us. So we did Foursquare and Locker Gnome in the live stream, of course. Google Maps is going to work just the same. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about uh, Voice Activator, you can check out uh, httpchpone.com. He's the developer of Voice Activator, and he supports this in the Jailbroke, uh, Jailbroke and Cydia App Store. So uh, if you're not familiar with that, Cydia is the equivalent of the Apple App Store, but it's for jailbreak uh, and jailbroken iPhones. So you guys uh, can go and check that out if you're jailbroken. Go and support chpone, get Voice Activator and start programming your own custom commands. Uh, they're super easy. You just go in here into your settings, uh, go to add a command, and you can uh, label it whatever you want. Tell it if you want it to speak back to you, which is not something I would do, or if you want it to, to launch a URL, or if you want it to launch an app, you would choose the activator method. And um, from there, you would configure it. So in this instance, say I want to uh, launch Netflix. I'll do a final one for you guys. Uh, go in here to Activator and uh, configure uh, where the app is that I want it to activate with the command Netflix. So, but there's Netflix. Once you find it, it just puts a check mark, and uh, that's it. I just configured Netflix uh, with the Activator action, and uh, the next time I hold my home button and say Netflix, it's going to launch straight into it for me, no hassle. So here you go with the demo. Netflix. 
There you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, on behalf of LockerGnome.com, again, this is R. Malieri, uh, keeping you up to date on all the coolest mods for your jailbroken iPhone in the iOS jailbreak series. Let us know what you think about this series. If there's any specific apps you'd like to see, if any questions you have, leave them for us in the comments. And again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next review. See you later.